Yo, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. First of all, you guys know the drill. Do you guys please smash that like button? I'd really appreciate it. You guys can leave a comment down below. I don't care what it is. It super helps the channel out. Yeah, yeah let's go. I ain't the first with the curse, with the thirst that I want to be better, not worse. Man, it hurts. I'm on this earth with my words. We're back on the shop. It's dark and early. I wanted to give you guys another little update of what we got going on. We finally got the Honda Accord out of the shop. We finally got the 56 Chevy out of the shop. So we are finally ready to start moving forward. We are planning on getting our next project in here really soon. So we're super excited to give you guys an update on that. We got to get some other things out of the shop and cleaned up. Uh, just wanted to give you guys a little update of what we got going on. We are also going to get ready to do a whole series on redoing Teo's R32 Nissan Skyline, which is actually parked right behind me. You can see here, he's actually been test fitting his new front bumper cover here. It is a fiberglass bumper, so he's kind of been fitting it and tweaking it and making sure that it, it does fit. He's not fully installing it now. He just kind of wanted to get a little head start on what he's got to do to notch it and that way he can start repairing the fiberglass and getting it paint ready but that thing is looking awesome guys it's like a gtr replica front bumper with the front lip there looks amazing makes his intercooler look just awesome tell me what you guys think in the comments we are going to be cutting the hood and modifying it to make it more of a gtr style hood this is the gtst you can see here they have some slotted f1 style type fenders and somebody's done a wide body rear fender conversion as well. It does have some cracking. The paint is actually in pretty rough shape, but we do plan on doing a full paint and body restoration on this thing, plus a couple other goodies. So stay tuned for the next series. You guys will be definitely hearing about that here soon. But uh, yeah, this is the car that we're gonna be redoing, guys. Uh, tell me what you guys think in the comments. Straight six, turbocharged, amazing car, awesome car. Let's hop over on the body side of the shop. You can see here we got bumper covers for days. We have a 2017 Ford Focus rs here that we're going to get ready to do a full body repair on and uh, this is the front bumper cover for it so we got to go ahead and remove some parts get it ready for paint we have a bumper cover for a toyota sienna that we got to get painted pearl white and we have a bumper cover for a hyundai santa fe with a fender as well that we are going to get in the booth here just shortly and get that painted black and we have a brand new grill and headlamp as well that will be going on that yesterday i was able to squeeze in our buddy connor's door handle covers and uh, those came out awesome silver birch kind of hard to see the color but they are like a pewter ish silver color but they came out absolutely awesome he's super pumped to come pick these up and get these on his truck but we got those refinished and ready for pickup over here you can see sean's already started the body repair on the ford focus so we have a door ding and a crease here and uh you can see that we got some primer on there. We will have to refinish the door jam, unfortunately. Let's see if I can stick my pinky finger in here and open it up. Yeah, you can see here that the primer does portray into the door jam reveal. So we will be going ahead and prepping this out and go ahead and refinish this entire door jam ahead of time. And uh, we will go ahead and get this thing prepped out today, blown off in the booth. We'll probably do the door jam today and cut in the under hood because we also have the front end to do. So we have, like I said, the front bumper. We have a brand new hood from Ford. You can see here, Tails already got it prepped out, ready to go. So we'll get this blown off in the booth. Uh, we'll get that ready for cut in as well as the door jam. And then tomorrow we'll kind of unmask it and remask it. And we'll go ahead and do the quarter panel, the door there. Um, we really got a stake within that rear door um it's potential chance i might go into this front door i'm really not trying to because we're already uh doing this fender um so we are going to be um, redoing the bumper the hood we will be blending this front fender so we'll blend our color a little bit into this front portion of the fender the top edge for the hood and we'll probably go into this a pillar since that a pillar is actually connected to that rear quarter panel and we are already refinishing that anyway we'll go ahead and put our color up here as well so everything matches up and looks really nice we also have a small repair that we did on this front left fender right here and as well as down here we believe that maybe it was like a snow chain or something that kind of rubbed against it but we had a bunch of rock chips and stuff like that and uh, we also had to fix up the rocker panel. So we might pop that off and uh, we'll go ahead and get this thing prepped out. We'll go ahead and blend this front door and uh, try to keep our color as uh, far back as possible as we go out. We gotta stay away from this rear door because if we get our color 
too close to this rear door, we'll end up having a door that just doesn't match. I'm sure you guys have been driving around and seen doors and fenders and bumpers that just don't match. And uh, that is why we blend. Um, it's kind of like we basically create an illusion to get our new color. Even though we have the paint code, there's still so many different variances plus different brands of paint that can actually create the color to be a slightly different shade, uh, darker, lighter at certain angles, metallics, all that stuff. So we actually do a couple things um, within blending to actually create an illusion that you're seeing the same color. So we will be refinishing um, the entire nose, blending the right side, and also blending this left front door. And we'll also go ahead and fix up that rear. This is an absolutely awesome little car. And you can see there, we got that rear splitter. We got dual exhaust. We got this really sporty spoiler on here. I think that looks really awesome. It's engraved RS. See if I can stick my pinky finger in here, open up the door for you guys. You can see here we got a manual six speed. We got display, we got gauges. Everything looks pretty cool. We have some RS seats, Recaros, awesome seats. And this is a turbocharged vehicle. You can see here, there's not much to see under the hood. It's kind of covered with plastic and stuff, but you got some pretty cool uh, factory engravements on the intake there and stuff like that. But she looks pretty cool. You can see there, we got the black front mount intercooler for the turbocharger. She's looking awesome, guys. We will have to, like I said, this is a tricky color. Um, this is a tri-stage color, believe it or not. So it has a solid blue base, and you can't see it right now on the camera, guys, but there is a metallic flake that goes over it. Um, basically, it's like a little pearl. And uh, I haven't sprayed it yet, so hopefully it's an easy color to do. And uh, whenever you're blending, the more room, the better. And uh, we don't have a lot of room on this rear door, especially for a tri-stage. So I'm hoping to God that we can get that door looking good. Worst case scenario, we will have to go into that front door, but I believe that we'll be able to keep it small and keep it slim and uh, get this thing taken care of. And uh, that's the update on that. Let's hop in the spray booth and see what's going on. In here, we have a 2023 Toyota Tacoma. It's a brand new truck, guys. And you can see here, we have the whole vehicle baked off and we actually refinished the fender flares. Now, this is the Sport model. This is the TRD 4x4 Sport, and the Sport models come with the painted flares. Now, some of the lower end models actually come with a black flare, and as you guys know, a lot of people are really liking the black stuff on vehicles. A lot of people want the black grills and the black lights and the black emblems and the black wheels. Everybody really likes black stuff on their vehicle, and uh, so this Kyler really wanted some black fender flares to kind of resemble the lower end base models, which is kind of crazy to me, but the customer gets what the customer wants. And uh, they came out awesome, guys. You can see here, that little yellow line right there, that's where I pulled my fine line tape. So we just used a satin trim plate paint on these. We did leave them intact. Being a brand new truck, the last thing I wanted to do is pop these things off, tweak them, pry on them, have to take an eraser wheel, get the double back tape off, break potential clips, having to wait from Toyota to get our clips and uh, I just to avoid all that we just decided to leave them on the vehicle we had enough room to do a very nice tape job there was the slightest gap between the flare and the body so we were able to squeeze some tape in between uh, pretty easily and get those things taken care of so we are going to get this thing unmasked today it just got dropped off yesterday and uh, it will be picked up this morning so uh, basically a one-day turnaround and uh, honestly it could have got picked up yesterday even if we wanted to but we don't like to rush things when we have fresh paint, regardless of that paint drying quickly, that paint actually dries within about 15 to 30 minutes, um, dry to the touch. And if you wanted to, we could have unmasked this thing, but I don't like the rush thing. So all we got to do today is reinstall our hardware. We got a few screws that we got to install. And uh, yeah, to me, that is a way better choice than taking these things off and potentially breaking any hardware on a brand new 2023 Toyota Tacoma. But uh, this thing came out awesome. Customer's gonna be super happy with it. Tell me what you guys think in the comments. You guys like the black fender flares or would you have you left them paint matched white? Me personally, 
I probably would have left him paint match white. I thought it was a nice looking truck to begin with. Uh, but I can kind of see what he's got going on here. You can't see it, but he does have some black step bars and stuff. So I can understand why he wanted them black. He's got some black wheels, uh, pretty nice wheels too. Uh, let's take a quick look at those. You can see there. So I can understand that the black is gonna look really good. Um, it has a big black Toyota grill, you can see there. So both ways looks really good. I would have left them white, but uh, I think it looks good both ways for sure. It's gonna have a little Panda effect being black and white. Um, it's got the black emblems even. And uh, yeah, tell me what you guys think in the comments of that. Uh, would you have left them white? Would you leave them black? Which would you do? Um, anyways, um, hope you guys enjoy the updates. Appreciate you guys all watching all the videos, whether it's diecast in the shop. We are planning on creating a whole new series for you guys that's a little less vlog style, a little more like a TV show style. So we will be filming the entire process of redoing Tails R32 Nissan Skyline from start to finish. Right now, he's just kind of getting a little head start on fitting that bumper to kind of speed the process up when we are filming and we do get this vehicle in here soon. But we are kind of planning out the whole video set. We also are getting ready to get our other project on as soon as this truck's out of here. We will be getting back to that. I'm not sure what we're going to do. We'll probably just do like vlog style updates on the next shop project. But we will be doing a full on video set and series on Tails R32 Nissan Skyline. So uh, tell me what you guys think about everything going on. I appreciate you guys all watching the videos. And if you guys can, click that like button. It does help the channel out. Also, leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear from you guys. I want to know what you guys think about everything going on. If you guys haven't yet, hit that subscribe button. And we'll see you on the next one. Ooh, like LeBron, though, or like Monzo. Ooh, I'm a baller, yeah, shot caller, yeah. They love me, you can't touch me, nah, can't.